guys and welcome back to my bedroom. For those of you who are new here, my name is Hannah and I've just graduated maths at the University of Cambridge. But I'm currently on day two of 10 of self-isolation due to COVID. So today I thought it would be fun and really embarrassing for me to read out my personal statement which I used to apply for maths at the University of Cambridge. I also applied to Imperial, Warwick, Durham and one other and I haven't read this in about two or three years um, so I'm not really prepared either um, but here we go. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine. Maths, for me, is the most fundamental form of thought. It pushes the boundaries of the human mind. And what excites me about studying maths is not so much the mysteries it solves, but the questions it creates. Being invited to the Oxford National Mathematics Summer School led to the first time I truly felt lost in a maths lesson but new concepts such as number theory and infinity, which confounded me, also fascinated me. Puzzling out problems with other inquisitive, motivated people was a stimulating and rewarding experience, which I hope to relive at university. The UKMT has been invaluable to me. I enjoy the lateral thinking encouraged by its annual challenges, and participating in Olympiads from year nine is what really ignited my interest in maths. Working up to BMO 1 and 2 introduced me to topics and a style of thinking beyond the A-level curriculum and I delight in spending hours on a challenging problem. I was a prize winner in the UK MOG 2016 and was selected for the Olympiad initial training camp. Training for Olympiads with the aid of the senior mentoring scheme and individual preparation has made me more resourceful and resilient. I currently attend step preparation sessions run by Leicester University after achieving a high distinction in the Year 12 Advanced Problems course. This provides an environment for group discussion with challenging material building on A-level maths. For writing up solutions, I taught myself LaTeX and now use it regularly. In addition, I completed two weeks work experience at the university in which I enjoyed learning about intriguing mathematical ideas such as high dimensional geometry and the Riemann hypothesis. I also tackled problems on aperiodic tiling, from one-dimensional substitutions to Penrose tilings, which I found a charming confluence of geometry, algebra, and combinatorics. I am curious to continue discovering areas of maths unknown to me, and what appeals in the university modules is their diversity, which would allow me to identify and pursue my interests. Alongside maths, I also harbour a love for music, having achieved grade eight with distinction on violin and piano. I am currently Principal Violinist of the Local Youth Orchestra and have competed nationally as a soloist. The long practice hours have highlighted the importance of commitment, while performing publicly has improved my confidence, but what I value most in music is a creative expression. I am fascinated by musical acoustics and cymatics, I forgot what that word means, and won a prize for a stall on the physics of music at the Robinson College Women in Science Festival. My EPQ allowed me to combine my interests in maths and music. I created harmonographs of chords by parametrically plotting sine waves of relative frequencies in three dimensions, and compared the complexity of the figures with the emotional response to the chords. In line with ideas dating back to Pythagoras, more positively perceived chords had simpler curves. Alongside my academic pursuits, my role of deputy head girl demands good organisation and puts me in a position of responsibility and leadership. I also enjoy working with younger students by helping them to run Maths Challenge Club. Being the only further maths student at school means I'm comfortable with one-to-one -one supervisions and has given me freedom in lessons to pursue off-syllabus topics such as cutting up Mobius strips. I enjoy creating and solving mathematical problems relating to my other subjects, like finding a formula for the number of chain isomers of alkanes with n carbons in chemistry. For my first maths book in primary school, The Number Devil, to the likes of Gödel, Escher, Bach, and the central binomial coefficients in The Backbrain of Pascal's Triangle, and covering beautiful patterns is maths' greatest reward. In studying maths, I look forward to being amazed and surprised time and again 
and gaining even the smallest glimpse into the book would be the greatest pleasure of all. There you go. So yeah, I definitely have not read all of Good Lasha Bach, but I just put it in there because it sounds cool. I'd say in applying for maths at Cambridge that the personal statement is probably the least important part. I mean, I doubt they even read it properly. I was never asked about mine in the interview at all. Apparently, someone got in with a one-line statement that said, I like maths because it's fun. So, yeah, don't worry too much about it. I hope that was somewhat entertaining or inspiring for you. Uh, definitely killed five minutes of my isolation time. So, I need to go and find something else to do now. Bye. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now